Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. We're here. We're here. In the day's video, guys, welcome back to Dylan's Little Hobbies. We are going to be talking about Ninja Go Season 4. This is the arc I have been dreading getting back to. This is the arc I've been dreading getting back to. I, I'm being totally honest. Um, I really, really do not like this arc. Before I go on though, I want to make this clear. I don't hate it. I, th there's nothing, maybe because I give it too much leeway for being a kid show. I don't hate anything in Ninjago. But I thoroughly, thoroughly dislike so much of this arc, man. And most so, I keep saying arc, it's season four. The entire season is the arc. But I'm being completely honest. If this is the worst the show has to offer, then I'm afraid that this is really not that bad of a show at all. It's actually a really great show. I can definitely say this now. I thought that this was season 5. I thought that there was going to be another story uh, between season what happened last season and this season. Turns out I was wrong. This is season 4. This is the one... That I did not like. I thought that was season 5. Um, uh, and then I do remember seeing the story after this one. So, looks like I've only seen up to season 5. I keep saying I've only seen up to season 6. Turns out, no, I've only seen up to season 5. So, I'm kind of excited to get past these next two seasons. Uh, and get to some new stuff that I've never seen before in Ninjago. This is the basic story of this entire season, right? So after season 3, after Zane, with the best story, uh, Zane gave his life up for his friends. Zane the Ninjoid gave his life up for his friends. Yeah, after Zane gave his life to save his friends, and died. We now have uh, season four. And at the end of season three, yes, we get this little shot of possibly him building himself back together. And yes, I do remember seeing uh, Silver Zane. So I knew that he was going to be coming back uh, as a metal robot because we see him in this like metallic silver. It looks really, really cool. I like his design in this season. But there is so much more. That That's like the one and only positive thing I have to say about this season. Is I like his design. That's it. Um, the rest of the season though. Well, you see, apparently he was captured. And th this is where I don't like it. Because it just gets really, really goofy. And after everything the ninja have been through. Why are we going into such... Goofy craziness. I don't like it, but there is this uh, character who is named Master Chin. Uh, Master Chin is the master of all noodles, all ramen noodles, apparently. And that that's our main villain. Now, he actually is like, once upon a time, the master of uh, none other then Lord Garmadon, who is now Sensei Garmadon. I love Sensei Garmadon now. Um, Lloyd's father. Uh, and it turns out that, uh, and this was really interesting to learn, that the way Lloyd got, got um, uh, the way Garmadon got Lloyd's mother to marry him is apparently with this letter that wasn't written by him. He put his name on his brother's letter. She should have married. Uh, she should have married his brother all along, but he didn't want to lose her. So, yeah. So, but it was technically, even though the evil was coursing through his veins, I really do think that yes, at some point it would take over him. 
it really was Master Chen that drove him to it. Well, now Master Chen is hatching a new plan to apparently get off the island that he's stuck on. Uh, and possibly rule Ninjago. What does he want to do? He actually wants to have a tournament. Have all ninja, all elemental ninja with elemental powers play in the tournament. Why does he want to do this? Well, uh, he, the veil is that it's just a goofy game to see who's the best ninja. The truth is, no, he wants to steal all of their powers uh, so he can become a anachondra, which is, of course, one of the serpentine. Uh, apparently, the anachondra was the most powerful of the clans, and that must have been actually why... Uh, the snakes trusted Pythor so much because Pythor is apparently an anachondra. Uh, I don't remember learning that. I'm sure that was probably brought up in season one and I just didn't pay attention that he was an anachondra. But apparently the anachondra, at least the elders of the anachondra, were the most powerful beings of all. And they apparently started the Serpentine War. That since a Wu and his brother Garmadon fought in. Well, Garmadon was even there when he sent the Anaconda elders uh, in the. Well, the. Like. It's like a dark world, I guess. And then, of course, they took all of the Serpentine and locked them up uh, in their uh, uh, tombs. Now, apparently. Apparently, it was Master Chen all along. Master Chen wants to become an Anachondra. He wants to rule the world. In fact, he's the one that told the Anachondra that they were going to attack. In fact, he told the people that the Anachondra were going to attack. And that's he, he's the one behind all of the Serpentine. Isn't that wonderful? We, we went from the grayest darkness of... The Overlord um, and Lord Garmadon and had to deal with all of that and the Serpentine releasing the Devourer. All of this awesome strength making these characters stronger with every battle to some dork in the Noodle Company. I, I just don't like this character. Guys, I don't like Master Chen at all. He's too goofy for me. His personality is too over the top, and and, and it's it's frustrating because yes, I I get it. it's a kid show, but like all of the characters, they kind of kind of grow grow up on you. You know, they kind of grow wiser and stronger, and now they're dealing with a buffoon. And, oh my god, then don't even get me started on Jay. Don't even get me started on Jay, you know? You know I don't like Jay a lot. I, I think he's a fine ninja. Uh, the team would not be the same without him. I don't like the jokes they go with Jay a lot of the times. But Jay is the most annoying in Season 4. He's the worst in Season 4. He the worst that he's ever been is in Season 4 to me. Because here he is, he's fighting with Cole about Nia, um, uh, and uh, he just makes these stupid remarks that, sure, uh, probably get some laughs. Not for me. I, I just don't like Jay in this at all. He, uh, he's, he's worse than he's ever been before. Um, like, in season one and two, I didn't like the jokes Jay was saying, uh, Jay had. Um, or the story jokes that they had with Jay, but Jay as a character, I didn't have a problem with him. And, and even in season three, I didn't have a problem with Jay the character. I just didn't like the humor they were using Jay to you, uh, Jay to do, uh, to tell. But now in season four, that is his character. The jokes, the um fight with Nia, that is his story, and it just becomes, um, just, it's, 
it's obnoxious. He's obnoxious in this season. I do not like Jay in this season. So Chen's big plan, again, is to play this tournament, right? And uh, obviously it would be boring if it was just a tournament with our five main characters. And again, the only reason why the five main characters went there in the first place, which is Lord Garmadon, uh, and then the ninja, is to find Zane. So, we got that, but we need more people to play this tournament, so they introduce more elemental masters. Only, here's the thing. None, and I mean absolutely none, of the elemental master's powers makes sense to me. Like, I, I mean, I can understand. We got fire, ice, lightning, right? Um... I'm thinking maybe some water, maybe some metal, maybe some wind type abilities, you know? Uh, may maybe some lava type abilities? I don't know, that sounds really kinda cool. No, we got speedy, um, invisible man. Uh, I, I, metal actually makes sense, I just don't like his big stupid fists. I don't like what they introduced as elemental powers in this show. Like I don't I don't like the other elemental masters. And here's the thing, um the biggest thing about them is that we've been with the ninja for so long. We've seen them overcome so much and gain so much strength. And now they're having trouble with and I know they call these guys elemental masters, but these guys aren't masters. Uh, I have not seen them test themselves like I've seen the ninja. And it makes the whole thing, makes the ninja look weak. And I don't like that. It makes them look very pathetic and weak. And I just don't think that fits the story. Um, now, eventually, of course, the ninja do find out about... Uh, Chen's plans, Master Chen's plans, uh, and, oh my god, Chen also has this other hitchman, I don't even know his name, I didn't really like this, he, he's like that most average, uh, mustache twirling villain you could ever get, and I really did not like him, and apparently there's some rivalry between him and Lord Garmadon, I didn't like it. I, I really did not like Master Chen and his little minions. Now again, he wants to become an anachondri, uh, so everyone, including Lord Garmadon, who works for him, has an anachondri tattoo on their backs. Uh, it turns out that one of the elemental fires that we have in the show is named Skylar, and, and Kai kind of likes her. I could see the storyline from a million miles away. Turns out she is the daughter of the big bad <sighs> Master Chin. Master Chin is, again, I just don't like him. And, and Skylar, she's not the worst character, but I don't see what Kai, ha uh, Kai looks at as Caesar. I don't. I... Basically, Kai is like this. Oh look, a female. I like her. That, there, there's like not a lot of character to her other than uh, than uh, what's going on with her and her father. Like, I, I just don't don't like Skylar very much either. And, and that's just one of the biggest things. And her power, her master power, apparently comes from her mom because her dad isn't a uh, Spinjitzu master. Her power, apparently, is to copy other powers. And I actually like that. Not as an elemental power. I think it makes more sense if that was just a magical power more than a elemental power. Like, I, I just... It makes sense because he, he's like a warlock, right? It would make sense that she has the power to copy other powers. But... That's an elemental power? The elemental powers makes no sense now in the show. Alright, you know what? Um, I'm just ending this video. That's why my hair looks like a mess. Uh, I 
rambled on in this video for quite a while. There's a lot of stuff that I have wanted to talk about. I still have about 12 minutes of this video. So what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to cut here. I'm going to make a separate video. So this will be labeled part 1. And I will also do part 2. Both of them will come out on the same week. Both of them will come out on the same week. So, uh, yeah, look for part two. Um, I'll have a, a card here, uh, around here somewhere for you guys to go check it out. So